But um, oh yeah, International Games Day. That was fun. Yes, it was. It was. What, what did we finally come up with? That is, is it a keeper? We're we gonna try it again. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna do a few things different next time. You know, we did things different this year. We're gonna do it again different next year. We had less people, but the people that came brought more children. If that makes sense, we had more children attendees, and it yeah, it went over fairly well. It's pretty good. Cool. I know we had fun. We celebrated games, and the cool thing is. Is we had a handful of volunteers, but all of those volunteers went to one table to play the games, and I had to handle all the other attendees <laughs> to the yeah, convention. All the volunteers wound up sitting at my table and playing Takenoko and Sellers of Catan trading sheep for wood. <laughs> yeah, I had Keith and, and you as a special guest. You had some. Mitigating circumstances, right. and you had to leave. But no, Keith. Keith got all the other volunteers to come play at his table, and I, I had to take care of the kids and the other <laughs> attendees of the. But we still had a great time. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I think we'll definitely be doing it again next year to help you out in Green County Library. It was great. Had a lot of fun. But um, oh, now now I can go down to that part. Well, yeah. Thank we, you. We skipped over Thank the you. fifth point. I mean, <laughs> Thanks for keeping us on track. Yeah, that's so important. I understand that there's a Doctor Who 2015 Christmas <laughs> special. Well, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try that again. So I understand there's a Doctor Who uh, 2015 Christmas special. Well, no, duh. There's always a Christmas special for Doctor Who. Yeah, I know. I watched the one last year in the movie theater. It was pretty awesome. <coughs> it was, wasn't it? Yes. I've still not seen last year's Christmas special. What? Yeah. I forgot to uh, watch that before I started watching the season. <laughs> so I haven't seen Nick Frost as Santa. That was a trippy episode with the Dream Crabs. You will have to... Uh... Get a copy of that. Yeah, I'll have to to find that online to stream and watch. <laughs> As the shifty eyes move left and right. Um, no, it's worth it. You had asked earlier, had I heard about it? I um I did hear that River Song was making a reappearance, and I saw something where River Song was facing off against Missy. Um, so that should be fun. I, I saw the trailer that they put out at uh, Doctor the Doctor Hub. Online, and um, it's got a couple of previews straight from Britain, where Peter Capaldi is like rolling in the snow, laughing at River Song, because she's like gathering this group together to fight against this giant ro- headless robot that is hunting them down, and it's it's hilarious because she's like we're being you know we're being threatened, and, and he goes. By a head in a bag. How can you not find that funny? So I think it's going to be a lot of of interesting yet comical effects for this year. So there's no huge spoilers there. But um, if you go online, you're going to see she's got her own sonic device that looks totally different than the screwdriver. And it looks like a trowel. It looks like a trowel. A sonic a trowel. Huh. <laughs> it's a triangle at the end, like a trowel. I could build a brick wall with it. You know? Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Better than putting up cabinets, I guess. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, yeah, I, I think that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I need to catch up on the, the episode so that I can I can be ready for that. Yeah, because yeah, it's going to be actually on Christmas Day. Which is a Friday this year. Um, they're going to be showing at nine o'clock on BBC America here in the U.S. It'll be eight o'clock over on BBC Two. Hmm. Yeah, because they're getting rid of BBC Three. Actually, it's like the entire channel is like gone bye bye. None of people paid their license for the television, so I get rid of that. But here's the question, guys: What do you expect out of next weekend's debut of Star Wars? I expect there to be too many people, and I'm not going to see it till a week or two later. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm going to try to go see it on Saturday. Um, I expect it to be awesome. It better be awesome. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I have a fear of large crowds. Yeah, I think there's going to be too many people for me to enjoy myself. 
So I'm going to wait two weeks and take my mom to see it. She took me to see some of the originals, so I'm going to take her to see these. And I expect to be on set! It's going to be great! I'm sorry. No, tell us how you really feel. I can't tell. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> I waited and waited and waited to watch any of the trailers. And I wasn't going to watch any. I watched the first one. Yeah. And then I was going to wait until I saw the movie. So I, I anticipation. And then some bastard made me sit down and watch it. Basically forced me to watch it. <laughs> Held you gunpoint? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Something man. like that. Held you with lightsabers. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I did like the trailers and I think. I think, I mean, J.J., he didn't screw with on Star Trek. No, no, I didn't. I, I think he did a fantastic job on Star Trek. So I think... Um, well, then I, I will ask you the, the question that was asked of me. Um, did I have any negative feelings about the little Weeble android, the little Weeble robot? BB-8? <laughs> BB-8. There are people that don't like that? Yes. There are people that don't like that. Oh, my God. It's Jar Jar all over again. And I go, it's not Jar Jar. That is a cool looking robot design. The thing is mobile, magnetic, and they already have toys after based on it. The fact that they, not even that, but they rolled the actual thing out on stage at yeah. D, what is it, D23? Yes. Yeah, D23. Um, the thing actually rolls. That's how it moves. Yeah. It's a practical effect. It's not CG. How can you not be amazed by that? I, I just, I'm of the opinion that there's a certain segment of people out there in fandom that just want to complain about something. They just want to find something to, to, to just, yeah, to yeah. fuss about it. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, but the robot, it rolls. It's like Jar Jar Binks. No, it's nothing like Jar Jar Binks. Mm -mm. Me so glad. <laughs> <laughs> me love you long time. <laughs> no. Me gong and hands me. No. no, don't even go there. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah, exactly. Um, well, then they're also the ones who are complaining about C-3PO having a red arm. And it's like, it's after a war. The dude is lucky to have any arms at all. <laughs> yeah, he's lucky to be put together. <laughs> Yeah, the, I mean, as much crap he went through on the uh, with those other robots and having Chewbacca put him together every twenty yeah, minutes. He was he was disassembled a couple times. I mean, yeah, he lost his head in the first one. Was completely disassembled, and and I said the first one meaning the Phantom. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, was that no the Clone Wars? Yeah, the Clone, the Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Yeah. Ooh, people Ooh. are gonna be mad at me for that. <laughs> And then in Empire Strikes Back, he was completely disassembled. And, oh, yeah. By know, the Ugnaughts, yeah. Why could he not have a red arm? He's not frozen in carbonate. <laughs> the complainers. It's just complainers. Yeah. They can't, they can't stop and enjoy it for what it is. Oh my God! There's there's a single black character in there. They're they're trying to you know erase the white race. <laughs> <laughs> and Billy D goes, "Don't y'all remember Lando Calrissian? <laughs> I won the Millennium Falcon in a card game." <laughs> That's a racist impersonation. I know it's awful. Don't get me to do Shaft, okay? Richard Froudy would have my head. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's you got to understand if they actually knew that all the stormtroopers in the original movies were portrayed by black actors for the most part, because those are the people who they could get to actually do the jobs. I mean, they would like just chill out. It's. I, I'm glad that they're bringing in a black character. I wish there was a few more. I wish they wouldn't have made him a Calrissian. Oh. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> if you didn't know, it's Finn Calrissian. Yep. Um, I wish they hadn't have attached him to that other black character because it's so it means there's space. Only, so it means there's only one black family in all of space? Yes. It seems that way. You know, what can I say? I mean, Lando gets around. Apparently so. My other ship. Is a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the Millennium Falcon is rocking. Don't, Don't come, come and knock him without a spacesuit. There you go. There you go. Oh my, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. No, I, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be good. You know, if people would just suspend their disbelief and just take it as it is. Or just allow themselves to enjoy something without having to nitpick it apart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to wait till after it's over. After I've actually seen it to nitpick it apart. Yeah, at least actually watch the film first. Yeah. I mean, who was it that I, who was able to see it three times already um, with Lucas? I was reading about it on Facebook. And Lucas said, you know, it's like, what do I care? It's their property. I made my money off of yeah. it. <laughs> Two big billions. <coughs> what do I care? You know? Yeah. I mean, think about it. That's perspective. That's perspective. Well, any other comments about those uh, naysayers of the, you know, on the galaxy far, far away? They can, uh, I'll, I'll be polite, no. No. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> they can go to Hoth. They can go to Hoth? Okay, there you go. There you go. Words of wisdom. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to check in after the release of the film and get the further and continuation of this conversation. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, now he's like, now nah, I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. Good, Good night. night. Well, that's the end of our podcast tonight. I uh, want to thank once again to all our supporters and fans for a great year with the podcast. Hero Central TV, and the releases from Hero Central Studio. Always keep your eyes open to the really big HC brand button on everything we do. Watch your mailboxes too. You never know when the HC buttons will go flying into the mailboxes of our fans. Ciao. This podcast is the production and property of Hero Central Studio, with hosting also provided at Hero Central TV on YouTube.com. The opinions mentioned herein are protected under First Amendment speech, as they are not libelous nor slanderous. Any intellectual properties mentioned for purposes of review are owned by the respective copyright and registered trademark holders. For any qu questions, comments, or complaints, email us at herocentralstudio at gmail.com.